Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, we'll be reacting to Candice own best advice to conservative students with liberal professors. Guys, let's get straight into this. Um, first of all, I want to preface by saying I'm very thankful to be a student at UNC. I'm from New Jersey, so I'm very thankful to be here. But one thing I learned very quickly when I came here is that if you do not agree with the political views of your professor or your TA, your grade will suffer. It will take a hit. As much as they deny it, it's the truth. True though. And as a student, I expect like I should be able to express my beliefs and my grade should reflect that, even though I'm making a valid point. It's very hard to get that good grade. What's your advice for someone like me who's a conservative trying to express their beliefs and show their support and just be who I am where my grade won't even get a passing grade because I'm being myself? Um, so this, is, this amazes me and I hear this all the time. It amazes me because it just, I, when I think about myself as a parent and like me spending the money to send my kids to school, if that's what I decide to do, like, you know, $100,000 to get an education. If I found out that my child was getting a letter, like, you know, getting a B because the teacher had a personal opinion, I would raise hell. And I think what's happened is that a lot of parents, and I, and I, I love being in a room with parents because I really lecture them on this, right? Parents have gotten so polite is what's happened because political correctness is all about saying that even though you're right, you shouldn't say anything because why would you want to raise hell? And you, you need people to say this is wrong. You need, the, it just takes one person to sue the school for them to stop it immediately because the, the things that the universities hate is attention for the wrong thing. They hate that. Yes. They actually do not want people to know what they are doing and to have people say, I'm, I'm pulling my dollars and I'm not doing this. And the problem is, is I think that the students don't want to be that one person. And I know that Turning Point has created some programs to kind of deal with that and to sort of expose you know, the professors that are engaging in this. But you should not take that sitting down. I have kind of always been a bull in a china shop. So if I ever felt in any capacity that a, you know, a teacher was doing that, I would make enough noise where they would give me an A just to never see me again. You know? um, and that happened once in a feminism class. You know, she just like, passed me to never see me again. You know? And you have to let them know that you're not, you're not going to take it. And by the way, when you develop those skills, get used to not being liked. Right? <laughs> get used to not being liked. That's the thing you, they want you to be afraid of. God forbid you're not liked, uh, then that's going to be problematic. God forbid we call you a name. Nope. Once you push past it, once you really recognize that, that you can disempower these people by letting them know that you're not going to take these things and that their names mean nothing, they, it changes you forever. You become a stronger person, and it also transforms the way that they behave. So I would say stand up for yourself, but also tell your mom and tell your dad what Candace said, right? <laughs> Candace said she'd raise hell. Guys, this was amazing. Like, there's one thing she said that stood to me, just to not being like, I, I feel for the fact that you're too polite, like, people actually take advantage of you, and people feel like they can give you the scores they feel like they want to give you. And this is something I said in my grade, and I honestly, I wouldn't do anything about it because I, I really don't want to go through that stress. Because for me, it's stressful, and I understand how fun because when you know you did, you did something very, very well, like. Let's say you read for an exam and you saw something different. And you are sure you went for the exam. And you just keep on asking yourself, like, where did I go wrong? Like, what happened? The teacher don't like me or something. But, like, sometimes lecturers, I, I would say, they do some stuff that are annoying. And you, you just have to take it as a test. But, like, I love the fact. Because I feel if I actually challenge it, maybe something happens in my results. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to check my head department this night, yes. I think that's what I'm going to do. And let's see how it goes. But like, guys, this was actually amazing. And I think I really have to get used to them being like, because I, I don't think I can see me what... I don't think I've gotten anything from being like, like, I, I don't think I've gotten anything. I just feel I'll take what is definitely mine. And guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Best.